with the Lost Temple hype here. And this is perfect. Knight of Mirror on Lost Temple. Uh, yeah, there we go. There's Boiler Rush. Um, yeah, probably m most of the time meant one thing. Hunts. A lot of them. And um, yeah, when we take a look at Deadman's main base, we see the Altar of Elders here and the Moon World. Uh, so far, no Ancient of War, anything else. So already looking like Hunts here. Same goes for United 5 Pato, starting on the right hand side here, going for the Altar of Elders and the Moon World as well. And um, yeah, let's see how this one is going. We see the Potem first here for Pato. Same goes for that man and yeah we have seen we have seen lost temple here a couple of times now and um yeah it was a very very cool map back then and um in my free time i'm really thinking a lot about warcraft 3 and one thing that's always not bothering me but what i'm thinking about is how those old maps might fare today and uh, I mean yeah a map like Lost Temple probably hard to fit uh, for today's games but um, there we go shotcast game sports C slash WC replays um, what plus for me <laughs> Uh, there we go, Hunter Soul and uh, Ancient Four. But yeah, a map like Seek Rally, I think, would be kind of cool even nowadays. Well, LT is the mass be best map ever, that's for sure. But um, yeah, super tough to play for Undead. And uh, yeah, the fast expansion of Human also. Yeah, not too sure about that one. But a map like Seek Rally would be kind of nice, I think. There we go, even a French shot cost here. Net G radio. So yeah, the beauty of a point first night of mirror creeping takes forever and almost kills your first hero. <laughs> Even doing a green camp here, but Pato is getting there. Uh, needs to be careful not to get creep checked here. Not so far. This is not happening. Oh boy. Oh boy. That man is coming though. That man is coming. <laughs> 36 hit points. And we have the arrow first here for that man. So arrow first against aura first. And uh, yeah, there are two, do two golden laboratories. Player's forces are under attack. That man with the first hunt creeping. First camp in the middle now. Going for the forest row berserkers here. So yeah, two ancients of war here for dead man, two for Pardo. So let the hunts roll out. Oh, the San Paolo going in for creep check here. Is he able to snipe the creep? No, he's not. Uh, one hunt wasn't snared. He gets focused. Uh, Whisper Paolo getting detonated, so not wasting any experience points here. Oh, uh, no. uh, both armies hiding in the middle of the map. <laughs> But, oh, we have the dust here for that man. Ha! Okay, there's a reveal by Pato. Uh, Pato might lose the first hunt here. Oh, hunt turns around. Ooh, this might be the end. Not only friend the end, but he's getting away. But now Pato is surrounded. Oh, still surrounded here. Dust gets used. Now the bottom of that man gets focused. Same goes for the bottom of Pardo. Oh boy. That man is using the Shadow Melt here. Oh, gets the kill. Gets the double up. Well played here by that man. 
No, no, he has the aura. The big question is, can that man woof woof like a dog? He definitely can. And he can also fight against team managers. <laughs> that wasn't like the best interview ever, that's for sure. But yeah, that man, kind of a sad story. He's no not longer with us, unfortunately. Died a couple of years ago in a very, very weird, on a very weird circumstances. Circumstances. A player's forces are under attack. And yeah, Pato, 40 out of 40 supply, getting the next boon well here. And yeah, this hero kill gives Stabman a lot of time for creeping. Not to reach level 3 now. Lots of haste. Uh, Part on also level two. With the owl as the second skill. Level three here. Oh yeah, very big man. That as well. True. Yeah. Shouldn't forget space. Also, where a good Walker free player is no longer with us. Creep checking in the middle now. Pardo using Shadow Melt. <laughs> but Pardo is still with here with the owl, owl scout. And the creeps waking up now. So Pardo is moving back, and now that man is taking over. One attack upgrade at the moment for that, and no attack upgrade for Pardo here. Ah, that man. Trying to micro out his hunts here. Losing a hunt now, that man losing a hunt. Yeah, but that man who also needs to fight against those small overseers, so uh, helping out the United Five now. But Pardo needs to be careful, his bottom is taking a lot of hits here. Can't we call him APM 70? It's kind of weird with the background to call him that man. Yeah, that's for sure. I also think oh, uh, APM70 was also a great name. And also the name he was famous for. Reaching first rank in the European ladder with, I, I think, 14 years, something like that. Was caught cheating, but even without cheating, he was an awesome player. Let's see, Pado still tier 1, 49 supply, and the fighting at the fountain continues here. I have a dead man at level 3, he has a level 2 true shot aura, and this makes a difference. Plus 4 attack against plus 2 attack. Both players with 1-1 one, one upgrades now. And both still fighting for the Gnoll Overseer here. Uh, dead man needs to be careful. Hunt gets out of there. Pardo now losing some units here. So True Shot Aura is working out kind of nicely for him now. Oh, and the Pardo is also not in the best position now. <laughs> yeah, that's a good old Knight of Mirror we love on Lost Temple. Hunts, hunts, hunts. And nothing's dying because of the fountain, but that's not true. See some hunts dying here and there. Ah, Pado now also reaching level three here. 
Oh, but he's surrounded. Yeah, I need to TP out of there. And this gives that man the Gnoll Overseers here. Let's take a quick look in his main base. He's at 50 supply. And he's getting an expansion now. Pardo immediately running back to the middle now. Or is he? Yeah. But he's too late. Creeps what has been finished and he gets the scrawl of the beast. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Going for the expansion. A town is under having the scrawl of the beast. That's tough. Dapman even splitting his army now. So one part going for Pardo's army here, the rest is creeping. Claws of attack plus six now. Next item. And Dapman now pushing into upkeep here. His expansion is up. What about Pardo? He's at 58 supply now. Level four Pollen here. For Deadman. Oh, let's be careful. Almost getting this around here, but he's able to get out of this tricky situation. And yeah, with the split army, that man is able to creep the gold mine here, get the economy advantage. And this is a big, 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 big factor in this game. Because it not only gives him the resources to rebuild his army quicker, he's also able to buy items. And he's going for two scrolls of healing now. Expansion starts entangling the gold mine in a second now. At least he should. Hello? That man. Hello? There we go. Took quite some time here. Sixty-eight supply for that man. <clears throat> Might get the next fight here. No scrolls whatsoever for Pardo. No expansion. I mean, he's getting an expansion now, but this will take forever. And yeah, there are no wisp around. Do we see the scroll of the beast now? There's also no TPs and no chance of getting out of there. And one scroll can make a big, big difference here. Scroll of the beast gets used level 5 now here for the bottom of that man. Now Pado is forced to run. Yeah, can't fight against the scrawl of the beast, that's for sure. Ah, trying to get the choke working for him here. But that man just turns around. Yeah, using the first scroll of healing here. Oh, next hunt moving in. That man? Hello? Oh, okay. Going into the fight and yeah, there's, there's no healing here. There's a reveal, so Pardo will lose a ton of units here now. That man, shadow melting them. Great micro here. Might use the next scroll feeling here any second now. Save the units. Yeah, there we go. Scroll feeling. Pardo loses everything here. Pot him close to level 6. So maybe even Starfall. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> Pardo here. A lot, a lot of hurt hunts. Sixty nine supply for dead man. Forty five for Pardo. And yeah, the units that Pardo have are super low. Next hunt gets surrounded here and killed. Spot him getting closer. There we go. Level 6 it is. So maybe Starfall even. We'll see. Oh, the pot him getting a TP here. TPing back, but he might lose some. Oh boy. First hunt. Second hunt against the creeps. Ooh, that was an expansive TP. Caught him going into position. There we have it. There's the ultimate. There's Starfall. Pretty much hitting everything in the Night of Army. There's no place to run, nowhere to hide. Engine of War. First one is going down, and this should be the GG right there. But it's always nice to see the bottom ultimate here. Starfall. And yeah, the amount of damage it's doing against buildings. Also, not too shabby here. There we go. Main building gets killed. GG by Pado, and he leaves game number one.